everyone, welcome to the 802 Live Show. I'm your guest host, Sam, and today in the studio with me, I have some of the spring athletes and our athletic director, Coach Scott. But before we get into that, here's some announcements. The Spring Awards Night is tonight in the nest. Everyone is welcome and masks are required. So Gabby, what are your thoughts on the season? It was really fun. It was my first time, but I made a lot of special bonds with them. Oh, that's good. So Siler, what are your thoughts on your season? Uh, it wasn't all that great. We didn't win too many games, <laughs> but it was still fun, and we made a lot of memories. Oh, that's good. And Gabe, what's your favorite memory? Uh, uh, favorite memory was just the uh, best rides and van rides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, <it>. nice. <laughs> so, Coach Scott, you're here to talk about some awards? Yep. We had a number of students that have been able to take home some, some state and all-region honors. Um, speaking of state, because she's not in the studio, I did want to give a special shout-out to Kaylin Banks. She is a state finalist in the 100-meter hurdles. Her preliminary race will be on Friday, and if she qualifies for the championship, that would take place on Saturday. So good luck to you, Kaylin. Continue to make us proud. Um, the AIA um, All-Region Baseball Award voting has not yet taken place. It will take place this afternoon. But we did have six students that were nominated for All-Region Honors. Nate Fuentes, Gabriel Chavez, Siler Alley, Brian Mendoza, Anthony Helmenthaler, and James Soto were all nominated for uh, honors. And so we're looking forward to see where those kids fall. In softball, the voting took place last night. We had five students that were second team All-Region. Amelia Murray, Anicia Montenegro, Alex Contreras, Ariana Davis, and Gabby Faust. We had three first-team All-Region uh, winners, uh, Averill and Morris, uh, Sianna Salea, who we call Cece, and Alana Wong. And Alana actually took home one of the top three honors of the, the night. She was the Central Region uh, Offensive Player of the Year, so she'll be up for all conference in that same area. And we, we actually think she has a really good shot to, to take home that award because she's top three in every statistical offensive category in the state of Arizona. So um, secondarily to that, I just want to give a shout out to anybody that participated in any spring activity this year. Um, you guys had a lot of turmoil from last year. You didn't even get to have a season. So the fact that you guys came out and a lot of you showed up really well and represented us in, in a good way. Um, I'm very proud to be the athletic director of this school. Well, that's amazing. Thank you, Coach Scott. And make sure you guys are coming out to the awards night. And that's all we have for you today. So thank you for joining me in the studio. <laughs> make sure you're checking your slides, our social media, and your Google Classroom. Why? Because we're always on air, online, and on you.